Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our free Figma UI UX design course. So in this episode we're going to take a look at the image properties and the different image options available inside of Figma. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing, there are several ways you can bring in images inside of Figma. So the first one is you see at the top toolbar over here in the uh, drop down menu for shapes at the bottom you have the place an image setting so you can either so if I zoom out let's zoom out for a bit so if I just simply select this and select place an image and let's just select this one so then Figma will give you the option so you can see that I have uh, the option to have place all or discard all and then I can also select multiple images in that way Figma will let me place multiple images so first let's try one image so once I select where to put it then Figma basically uh, brings it in in its full resolution so as you can see it's in full resolution so let's get rid of that so now let's uh, bring in a f uh, s multiple images at once so we'll choose the keyboard shortcut which is shift command K so we'll select this one and this one and this one so let's select uh, these four and set, uh, take a look when I select uh, open all so it'll take a moment to add the images and upload them since we're on the browser mode right now so now you can see that this says I have four images you can see that uh, on my mouse cursor there, there's a circle that says four so that means I have four images and the best thing is I can drop them one by one so I can come at the top over here and select place all or I can discard all of them so to select uh, to bring in them one by one I simply left click once here then Figma brings in the first one and then I still have three left in my hand so I can still cancel the option over here so that's another way to bring in up uh, bring in images so we'll get rid of this one as well so we'll get rid of the frame so that that was an SVG so another way to is simply copy paste so if I move out of my this screen I have another screen that you can't see where I have several images so I can simply drag and drop an image like this so you can see that I'm dragging the image from my folder I can simply drop it on top of my browser and that brings the image inside so you can see that the image is inside and another way to do this would be I can copy the image from anywhere just simply using the your regular co uh, copy keys that's command C control C so you can copy and paste using command V so anyways I can use the command C and command V settings and that also lets me bring in an image so you can see that I have brought in these images so if I deselect this one and paste it on the artboard itself so that will come in as well so let's try another image so let's uh, bring in another image so I'll just simply deselect all my selections and then I'll simply use the keyboard shortcut command V and it will let me so you can see that it's adding the image so it takes a moment to upload the image and add it to your browser can see that the, I can also use the command C and command V as well so we'll get rid of this image all right so let's zoom in so now moving on to image settings so if you simply select any image so I have an image over here and this is a solo uh, this is a single image that's outside of any frame or bounding boxes so on the fill tab over here you see that I have this image fill so I can also select any image from the fill tab as well so from the top drop down menu where we can uh, select the different uh, radial modes and linear modes I can select the image settings over here and that lets me choose any image and I can choose the image from here as well so I can click on choose image and now uh, below that we have a several different uh, image editing options per se so the first one is uh, so these are very basic edits you can see so I, we have first we have the exposure so this controls the lighting of our image and then we have the contrast so this is just controlling the contrast ratio of our image and then we have the saturation so this is the depth of the color and the mm, and the 
intensity of the color in sort of way. think of it that way so that's the saturation so as you can see as I'm increasing the slider the color intensity sort of increases and then we have the temperature so this is a photographic term so we have uh, two different uh, color range uh, color temperature ranges so one is cold and one is towards the warm so think of it this way the colder light is like the xenon lights or like the LED lights and the warmer lights are basically the um, incandescent lights so that's the setting and then we have the tint control so we can tint our image in either way and then we have the highlights so this is uh, this basically uh, controls the sh highlight section of our image and then we have the shadow so this controls the blacks and uh, darker colors so we can make them more darker or more lighter so th the higher the setting the less the shadows and so we'll move this one and the lower the setting if you take a look at over here the sort of it's, it's the blacks sort of get blacker so that's the shadow setting so these are all, uh, all different image options and image settings so this will be all for this episode i hope you guys had fun and learned a few new things so i'll see you guys back on the next episode till then have fun and enjoy